My name is Robert Shawhan. I'm the author of GraphPad, and this video is an overview of all the features of GraphPad, particularly as it pertains to businesses wanting to perform um, estimates or proposals while in the field. And at its core, GraphPad is an extremely easy to use drawing, dimensional drawing engine. And you can see it's got Snap, and it's very easy to use. And it's designed for non-technical people to create CAD equivalent drawings really well in the field. And you can see how easy it is to use and it's very easy to learn. So users typically take a matter of minutes or hours to become extremely proficient with the tool. Now once they've created their dimensional drawing it's very easy to perform calculations. So to calculate an area for example all we have to do is select the lines around the perimeter, press calculate, and calculate area. And we can see the area of this um, shape is 2,100 square feet. So integrated in with the forms itself, are, are integrated in with the drawing engine are your business forms. So we can see you can have a number of business forms. And I'll start by bringing up the City of New York's uh, inspection form. And so it's very easy to create these forms. So this is just an actual image of the inspection form and then all I have to do is lay out the fields and now the user can just type those, press in those fields in text mode and type in a value. They can have check boxes, they can have lists of values pop up, etc. Numeric keypads where appropriate. And now they still have um, inside this form itself, they have this extremely easy to use drawing engine. So while it's extremely easy to use this and the fields are all laid out, it's still a lot of typing. And to eliminate that, I've gone ahead and created an integration path. And so for a lot of companies, it's very easy to have their inspections. And so now we can see um, a individual's inspections. Actually, these are the individual's inspections, or you can see everyone's inspections um, for the company for that day. And now if he presses on a um, uh, icon, he can bring down all the appointments information, the phone number, uh, etc. And now when he opens up a form, and in this case I'll open up an Orkin proposal, it's downloaded all that information from the web service. And we can see this is being prepared for Andy Bartholomew. And if we go to the next page, it's not only downloaded the information associated with the appointment, but all the information that can be downloaded for that particular customer. So we have the billing information, etc. And these forms are very easy to fill out because all we have to do is for the fields that are being downloaded, just specify um, the particular field associated that with the name. So we can have business name or contact name associated with this particular field. And now when we download the contact name, it automatically populates. And we can see all this information is populated for us. We don't have to type anything in. And now we can tab over and we see our drawing page. And not only do we have this drawing engine, but we have all of Orkin's um, symbols. So as they drop a symbol onto the drawing, it automatically, uh, we can see the symbol. But in addition to that, it actually shows up in the scope of work. And so we not only see the bitmap of the symbol, we see the text associated with it, and it maintains account. So if we drop in another one, we see two. And if it had a cost associated with each one of these items, it could calculate the cost as well. So we have the super um, easy to use drawing engine. It's part of your form. But say, for example, you needed to have multiple drawing pages, we could actually go and select and say, I want to have another drawing page added. It will add it to the end of the document. And now I can actually continue on. So we can have as many drawing pages as we need in order to complete our proposal. Um, we can go ahead and take pictures and we can drop those images inside of the uh, drawing. So for example, something from my vacation. <clears throat> and we have um, simple editing capabilities. So say for example, I want to clip this image down to size. I can clip it, I can rotate it, I can resize it, etc. And once we've completed our entire proposal, we can go and in this case what we'll do is we'll go to the last page and so we'll just add the summary page to this. And now we can go ahead and have our customer 
sine. So that's a lot of what the application does, but there's, there's yet more. <clears throat> so for example, um, one of the features that's currently being added is the ability to add calculations as part of the configuration. And the advantage of this is, is rather than having to modify the software to change your calculations for estimates or your engineering calculations, we can just pass those calculations in as uh, part of the configuration file. And now, say for example, we want to calculate the hypotenuse. All we do is have the user type in the particular values in the two fields, and it automatically calculates it. And so, say for example, your um, calculation for your estimate changes, it can be changed in the configuration file and then just emailed along with the rest of the configuration um, to all your users throughout the world. When they open that file, it will bring in the configuration file and they'll have that new calculation or library entities, etc. And that's um, essentially how GraphBed works in the whole business process. And so you can see it's extremely easy to create these uh, custom configuration files. Um, it eliminates a lot of the uh, complexities of actually going through an IT project. And so basically you can um, download the $20 version. You can learn how the application works. Then you can figure out what forms you want to incorporate. You can have as many forms as you like. As you can see, you can have multiple forms. You can have multiple libraries. Um, all your libraries of symbols, etc. You can lay out your forms, you can have your calculations, etc. And there's really no development, it's just configuring the application to meet your particular needs and then going ahead and integrating with the web service. And that's my presentation. And I look forward to um, hearing more about your particular projects. Um, and thank you very much.